Okay, for the Envirothon test, you're going to have to do texture samples. And I've got a material here. We're going to find out what it is. The first thing you want to do is determine if you've got a very sandy, a very silty, or a very clay soil. So we have a, a portion in the hand, and we're going to get it wet and form it into a ball as best we can. Okay, so if it forms into a ball, we know we have enough clays and silts to hold that material together, but if it doesn't form into a ball, we're looking at something that's probably just a pure sand. So I can get it into a bit of a ball here, maybe add just a little bit more moisture to it. Another test we can do is whether or not it holds together if I pick it up and drop it. And it's holding together pretty well, so I know it's definitely not a pure sand because it's making a ball and it's holding together. But is it going to be able to ribbon? Now ribboning is when you push the soil together with your thumb and forefinger to see if it sticks. If it ribbons even so much as half of an inch, we're looking at a loam material that's got a mixture of silts and clays and sands to hold it together. But I'm not able to get very much of a ribbon. It's pretty much just what my thumb and forefinger smoosh together that I can push up, but then it falls off right away. So the fact that I can't get a ribbon on here tells me it's too sandy to even be a loam. On the USDA soil texture triangle, that's going to put it as a loamy sand texture. It's not going to have much silt or clay in it whatsoever, but it has just enough that it does form a ball that holds together when I give it an impact. So this is a loamy sand texture. I'm going to texture another sample here that's a little bit different than the one we just did previously. This one has some good structure to it, so to help make it easier to texture, first I'm going to break it up as best as I can in my hand. That way it's a little more consistent of a material. Just like before, I'm going to wet it up. Now I already know it's probably not going to be a sand because of the material holding together into those clods. So now it's how sticky or how smooth is it. This is pretty sticky stuff right here. I can feel it squishing between my fingers and it's really sticky. When I work it, my fingers are actually sticking together and I can feel it pull my skin apart. When it's this sticky, we're thinking of something with an awful lot of clay material. So we're going to find out whether or not this is a pure clay or maybe a clay loam or a silty clay loam or a sandy clay loam. So this sample was really sticky at the beginning and it took me a long time to get it to a point where I could ribbon it. But now it's starting to stick to itself more than my hand and it's worked in really well. So a clay is going to have at least a two inch ribbon on it. It's got a long uh, strength to it that holds it together. This guy is getting to be three inches at least here. Now everybody ribbons a little bit differently. Some people's ribbons will go straight up and down. Some people can be kind of curly. Uh, the most important part is how well it sticks together and how long it's getting. So this is supporting my clay texture because we're getting well over two inches of material holding together really well. So that's probably a really high clay percentage, around 50% clay at least. So I just did two textures that are on different ends of the spectrum to orient you how the soil might behave differently. Now Vic is going to show you how to texture a sample in the field. In an Envirothon, you'll be ex expected to, uh, at the soil station, you'll be expected to texture some of the, one of the horizons or more. You get to, and I like to get as much, a good handful of soil, uh, wet it up. Keep kneading it until you get a pretty good, it gets pretty doughy. <laughs> kind of the modeling clay cookie dough or and different soils. Different soils will have different feels. The sand, silt, and clay express themselves when you get them wet a little bit differently. Uh, sand, you remember, is gritty, silt is smooth, and clay is sticky. On this particular one, it's pretty silty, so because it's very smooth, you can, in fact, there's hardly any sand at all in this particular texture. So if you know you've eliminated all of the sandy textures, you're, uh, you've got silt and clay consider. Uh, 
It's smooth, so it leans, it's dominated by silt. And it's kind of, it'll do a, a short but rough ribbon when you squeeze it between your fingers like that. So this particular sample comes out as a silt loam. Uh, to determine the amount of, of sand, take a small sample that we can't feel very much. Maybe a small sample, put it in your hand. And mix it, mix it up good. And look at what's left when you turn it, pull it, pour the water off. In this case, there's just a very, very little bit of very fine sand left in my hand. So uh, that's a, that is the process you'd, you'd use on these, this silty soil. A sandy so if it's dominated by sand, then you'd have to, you know, try to ribbon it and see if you've got a, a different a sandier texture like a sandy loam. If it feels gritty, if it feels uh, just nothing but sticky, then you're on the clay side.